This is what I am sewing starting from seed today in the greenhouse. Um, out of all these, the only one that I have done for fall winter in the greenhouse are the pansies. Um, dill, I'm gonna try dill. I was watching Johnny's seeds and they were talking about starting snapdragons in August for their main um, unheated hoop house greenhouse. So I'm gonna try that. So we've got um, cabbage and uh, this is really cool. I've grown it in the spring. Um, if it doesn't work out this year, at least I can eat the leaves. <laughs> Whatever leaves woke up. Um, collard greens. Um, and purple sprouting broccoli. Um, this says 220 days, so we will, we will see how this works out. But this is what I am trying. What are you doing? Do you the camera? So the snapdragons will have to wait a couple of days. I just realized that they need a chill period, um, chill seeds for two days in the refrigerator before sowing. And I didn't know that. I started these last year in the greenhouse in the early spring. So, so they got their chill period in the greenhouse. So these will go in the fridge for a couple of days and then I'll be back to sow these. So here's a look at how my seedlings are doing. I may have already showed you the other day in the other video, can't remember. <laughs> um, we got mustard greens. These are the, um, no, sorry. These are the, uh, yeah, the Japanese giant red mustard greens. These are the spinach tender green mustard greens. Um, calendula right here. And this is the cauliflower, more calendula, which I went ahead and took the lid off because it was really hot in here yesterday. Um, they, they should still, if it's good germination, they should still pop up even without the lid. The, the lid just helps hold in the humidity and kind of helps them go along faster. Um, this is Romanesco broccoli. We've got some little ones coming up that you might not be able to see. Um, the cilantro took off faster than I thought it would, and cilantro here. I, so far I've had one little spinach come up, and it was the only one. It was getting pretty tall, so I decided just to pluck it out of the tray and put it in its own little pot so it doesn't get um, leggy and tall, spindly looking. Um, and all the others are down here in the shade. And then not to move too fast so I don't want to make you sick <laughs> um my pansies and Johnny jump ups I have them covered in the black plastic since they like to germinate in the dark so I've run out of those black trays so I've had to switch to I have these cheap little plastic trays which work just as well um I got these on Amazon I can include the link if you like um they were really cheap so I gotta use these up now so I've uh, my seed starting mix. Oh, sorry. I'm not holding the video on it. My seed starting mix. Uh, put it in there. Put some water in there. And just till it clumps. Just like that. That's just about right. And then put it in your tray. You really got to get a tripod. It's hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> Hold the camera and stuff with the other hand. And then I just punch it down so that, you know, it all gets filled with soil. And that looks good. Okay, so I've changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and sow these in my soil here. And then I'm just going to put my little pan there in the refrigerator for a couple of days. Um, so... I saw a girl on YouTube, um, she, how she does all her pansies. She just uh, fills a tray with soil. So I took my seed starting mix and just filled my tray here with soil. Sorry, my kids are playing in the background, screaming and having fun. 
Um, and then she takes her seeds. Let me get my seeds here. They're little tiny seeds. Most of that is dust, I think. Um, and she just holds them up high, just sprinkles them over the soil, kind of tries to spread them out. And then just, I'm going to just pat them down. Seed, uh, seed dragons, sna snap dragons <laughs> need light to germinate. So just lightly press them in and that I will put the humidity dome on and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for um, two to three days and then I'll bring it back to the greenhouse. Don't forget to put your tag in for what you're growing. Put your humidity dome on and I'll, like I said, I'll put these snapdragons in the refrigerator for a couple of days and then bring them back to the greenhouse. Okay, so for dill, um, it says depth one sixteenth inch so not very much at all so I'll just make a little tiny notch here with my finger so I'll get my little tiny seed and just drop it in the hole each one of those holes, I'll just put a little seed in. I'll have to ignore my stained garden fingers. They look awful. I picked a bunch of tomatoes yesterday and my hands just got stained from doing that. So I'll fill in all the holes and then I'll just pinch, barely pinch it over. So put, make sure you put your plant tag in, um, spritz them with water, which I don't have my spray bottle right now, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> and put your humidity dome on and you're done. Check them every day, maybe a couple times a day, and make sure that they have, uh, that they're staying moist. And this was my son's seed tray, so that's why it's camo. <laughs> so for the uh, broccoli and the cabbage, collard greens um i will all i will sew them all just like i showed you with the dill um the pansies i think i'm going to just sew them all in an open tray like i did the snapdragons um, i'm not too sure about the germination on this and the pansies can be sewed together and then separated later so that's what i'll do with those so I just have a few of each of these and they're in the kind of the same color scheme. I'm not sure about the germination. Um, so I'm just going to fill a tray here, which I did with my seed starting mix. I'm just going to toss all the seeds in there, cover, cover them with a tiny bit of soil and um, we'll see how they do. I've got all my pansy seeds in there. So I'm just going to go through and put just a little bit of soil on top and for now since these seed packets are empty I'm just gonna put them on there to remember what I put in there and put the humidity dome on and those are gonna go down here um, because they need to be covered with a black trash bag pansies and Violas, Johnny Jump Ups want to be in the dark to germinate. Cover them. That's what I have under here is some other ones. So I hope that was helpful. I'll be back again in a few days with some more. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.